Hi, everyone. Um, I want to talk with you today about, um, so I was in meditation yesterday and today. Sometimes meditation is about, you know, like chanting, and sometimes it's about um, following a spirit journey. But in this case, today was about my putting a question out there and keeping myself very still so that um, whoever has the answer can get all of my personal energies into alignment and receive the answer to my question. So this took a few days of meditating, not a few days of nonstop meditating, although, oh, wouldn't that be wonderful? <laughs> no, it was a few days of, um, oh, let's get that, cool. A few days of asking this question in my daily meditations, but also like just having it out there in the back of my mind receptive without my actually working at it. Um, and the question is recently, you know, I'm teaching a course on manifestation and this fall I've been manifesting like a maniac. I mean, those of you who know me know that I got a beautiful house, like just given to me with all this land on a mountain with my own lake. Um, I got a new car. I got two scholarships, uh, one for a private school program. Uh, all online and one for college and I put like pretty much little to no effort into getting any of this and then a bunch of other stuff it just seems like every time I turn around I keep asking for you know resplendent bounty of joy and joyful abundance you know I'm not asking for anything specific but anything that brings a uh, joyful abundance and like healthful support for my life path going forward. And um, so sometimes it's like money, sometimes it's stuff. Um, but here's the thing, both of the scholarships I got are for uh, computer programming. Uh, one, they're both for web design. And, you know, I'm like a drag and drop kind of, like I build my own website, but it's all like, you know, drag and drop. I'm not a coding person. However, my first college degree was in uh, geology and originally it was gonna be physics. And then I became, uh, you know, got advanced degrees in nutrition and food science. So, you know, I'm not unfamiliar with calculations, but computer coding, um, since I'm also super dyslexic is terrifying for me. So I'm facing my terrors and it's really interesting. So this made me think like, you know, we ask for things and they manifest. Sometimes what appears before us, we're like, oh, well, I manifested, I must go forward. If you're hitting a lot of roadblocks, then you didn't manifest it. That's like a fake out. So don't always automatically go forward. It's okay to question and say, is this the right thing? Go forward. But, you know, just as when anything happens in your life, you're the one in charge. So um, in this case, I didn't even apply for these scholarships. They just were given to me. Like I got an email, hello, how would you like to do this? I'm like, oh, okay. And I had asked for like better ability with uh, doing things in my website that I don't know how to do. And also to like help my peers, people who, you know, had to close their wellness centers or having trouble reaching their clients who work in mind, body, spirit, inspirational work, you know, teachers, healers who now have to build websites and they're overwhelmed. They don't know how to market. They don't know how to go online. Uh, it was my thought that if I learned more then I could help, you know, my peers. So um, anyone who wants a spiritually infused website. So I'm now creating a program for that, a mentoring program, you know? So anyway, this isn't about marketing. So I put to my guides, like, why? Why am I getting like all this support to become a web designer? Uh, especially since it's so much above and beyond what I had asked for. What I asked for was like, 
a little better at social media integration. And I got like an entire college degree handed to me. A lot of work, a lot of classes and homework, but it's interesting. And what they showed me, and it's been like, sometimes the great epiphanies are not like something new from above, or it's just like all the things you already have that are scattered coming together in cohesion so that it's like a jigsaw puzzle instead of being pieces in a box suddenly it's laid out as the the cohesive mosaic of of image and they here's how to explain it so you guys know i'm akashic i'm up in the akashic library all the time like not just in this life in in between lives i work there i'm like you know that that's my jam and um you go into the library for like research but there's another place called the cloud network um and the cloud network is awesome and some of you may go oh hey i've been there before as i describe it it's imagine you are actually inside a cloud huge bank of clouds and some areas are more light some areas are more dark and there's like all kinds of rainbow you know light refraction everywhere so there's like arches of rainbows or like pools of rainbow or just like little snippets um you know like if you're at a wonderful waterfall in hawaii it's the same um and there's like lightning and current electric current and magnetic current, you know, just like zapping through, but it's not dangerous. This is like an information place. So the cloud network is, you know, if you do shamanic studies, it's the area between the second and the third realm. It's very active. Um, I see it as a branch or an extension of the library, that the library is where you go for research but the cloud network is like, if you are in life, this is where all your energy is. Of course, you can go to the library and read about your life in this life, but what you'll read about is the life you had planned and like, you'll see the research of it. Okay, here's where you are now. Here's all the life paths ahead of you. You can plan it out, but the cloud network lets you know um, what's happening in the here and now. And you see like, oh, that's why something's affecting me, all this energy coming from here. So, um, forgive me, my cat was in here, my main coon cat, so I like little bits of cat hair <laughs> keep floating on me. <laughs> um, so I was, they took me to the cloud network when I asked like, why have I received two full scholarships to become, you know, a computer programmer and a web designer when you know my request was really for this much and i received you know resplendent bounty why you know this is so much more so i feel like maybe is there a higher purpose for this and what they showed me and i try to describe it is um you know those of you who are aware of like light language star language and like codes that are always downloading um so sometimes like you feel the downloads and they're like energetic downloads that transform you you feel like you're getting upgraded or sometimes like if you're like me you close your eyes and you see like codes sometimes just a few floating sometimes it's like you're in a hurricane of codes like sometimes it's like you've been drinking too much and whenever you close your eyes you get the spins because like I get vertigo from all the codes that I'm seeing. And, um, okay, this is really hard for me to translate from uh, epiphany to coherent words. <laughs> but what they showed me is, you know, each of us, there's so much more to our body than our physical body. We have our energetic body. We have our eminent emanation body we have more to our actual energetic body around us than we see with our eyes and people who meditate a great deal and become divine um, are able to see the structure of your body around you that is in a different uh, visual frequency 
from our like almost imagine this physical body is like the core the pit of a peach but there's all this luscious wonderfulness around that we don't even notice all we see is the peach pits um and i think we in our physical state we're awesome so imagine how much more amazing is this great wonderful energetic lusciousness around us that most of us are not even aware of. Um, but when people are very attuned and they learn to connect with this, then it's a powerful force. And, um, and we see that there's so much more happening here than just the hardcore physical. Um, and on top of that, of course, we're connected with our souls energetically. And there's so many more connections. That's why we have mandalas. That's why we have energy grids, networks. There's so much more than we utilize. Um, so the energy that's coming down that we see as light codes, what they showed me is we see this 3D physical but you know everything is made of energy. Some things are more dense energy, and some things are lighter or different dimensional or different frequencies of energy. But everything is made of energy. Energy never dies; it just changes shape, changes frequency, and continues. So, in a way, what we are seeing in our three D life is like a computer program, and my learning programming, I'm learning how, I've been learning how, <laughs> it's a lot of learning, how you type in codes and then you get like a visual screen. So I type in data and then I look at the website and there's a beautiful website. But if I do one misspelling in the code, there's nothing, or it's not a beautiful website. It's just a bunch of scribble. And they're showing us how, in a way, we are our own program. And there, there's all this wonderful code that we can grab and input to translate the program into a different one. So anyone who's comfortable with computer programming and meditation, or anyone who's comfortable with the idea of just receiving frequencies and then inviting them to input where they may. They were showing me how we can actually redefine the entire visual and energetic, like the entire reality of our planet, just by doing a little bit of recoding. And, you know, we've got all this code that we're just letting it go all around us. They're like, you know, practice with yourself, invite codes that will upgrade you that will update you that will bring more flow to your life like create your own program and again you don't need to be a programmer uh apparently i just had to get a whole new <laughs> college scholarship to get this like uh, epiphany but you can magnetically attract electronically spiritually attract with focus, intention, and meditation, and just visualizing the process. Don't visualize the outcome beyond like healthful abundance, you know, abundance of joyful, healthful well-being for all, or, you know, things like that, because our brains are kind of puny, and, you know, we don't really know what, you know, what is best for us, you know, the great spectrum of everything knows better than we do. Um, so, you know, invite the codes to utilize you. And you can start with making your life filled with greater joyful abundance. That's what I do. And, um, and invite it to flow through you. You know, when you're a healthy host that's comfortable with receiving the codes and having them input, then they can flow through you with greater ease. So you don't need to heal the planet before you heal you. Um, you know, every Wednesday night, the Akashic 
librarians uh, channel lessons through me. And, um, you know, you guys are welcome to join. We do it every Wednesday night and they're amazing. For like an hour, you can ask them questions and they give lessons and they, they're they like so awesome. And one thing they taught us is it is imperative that we are healthful, self-loving, self-valuing vessels so that when we go forward for community, planetary healing, healing for those we love, you know, sending energy of love out, we are sending the healthiest energy because we have built ourselves to be powerful forces. So anyway, before I get on the line of gibberish, um, oh, I'll put the link, uh, you can go to my website, ponytowoods.org, and there it is, our Wednesday night crew, you can join. Um, so before I gibber, just think about this. Light codes, you know, what are they? They're like coding that we can input to redesign this program that that is like our 3D reality. There's so many Ds out there. Let's infuse a little bit of stuff in there and upgrade our program. So that's it. Uh, feel welcome to contact me if you have questions. I know this is a quirky little message, but <laughs> it's what I got. And I thought it was kind of exciting to realize how empowered we are to not just be like conduits for codes or recipient for codes, with it, but to realize this is part of a greater program. We're all part of a greater program and uh, we are empowered to become an active part of the program. All right. Love you all. Take care. Bye.